Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. Today in the video, we're going to have a look at um, Terraform and how to use a um, custom module to define a um, private endpoint for an Azure resource. So over here in my Terraform solutions, so this solution is available on GitHub. If you saw my video about uh, building an app service environment, um, this is part of the same solution. So here I've got my Key Vault resource that I've defined. And what I want to do is add a um, add a private endpoint for this key vault. Now the problem with um, well not really the problem the challenge is that I have to set up a bunch of resources to do it. So I need to define a private endpoint that links this resource to the subnet on my virtual network. I then need to get the IP address for that private endpoint. I then need to create the associated DNS entries. Um, so I need a C name and an A record. Um, so there's, there's a few things you have to do, with, regardless of how you're scripting it, whether it's with um, PowerShell, Bicep, Terraform, or whatever. Uh, there's a few th steps you have to do there. So what I want to do with Terraform is define a custom module, which allows me to define those steps once, but I can reuse them many times in a number of different scenarios. So basically it makes it easy. Anytime I want a private endpoint, I just call my module and I don't have to do those four or five steps every time. So if we go down here, you can see here I've defined the use of my um, my custom module. So you define the, the path to where it is. So up in the modules folder, I've got my um, Azure RM resources private endpoint module up here, which we'll look at in a minute. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a name. So this is an instance of the use of this module. So it's my key vault private endpoint. And I have to pass in a few things. So I'm telling it, here's the resource group um, and the resource name. So, that, so because I'm using the key vault here, I can just pass these from the key vault itself. So we've got the resource ID, the name, the location, and the resource group. I then pass the um, the ID for the subnet that I want to link the private endpoint to. So I've got a, um, a subnet for private endpoints for my PaaS resources, so I just pass that in. The sub-resource names, this will depend on the type of private endpoint that you're setting up. So for me being key vault it would be vault but there's um, things like blob or queue if you're doing a storage account and a, a number of others and this is where you know if you're doing a private endpoint for a storage account you end up having this probably set up four private endpoints for each of the different um kind of addresses that it has so that that's where you end up with quite a lot of terraform resources so the module being able to reuse that just makes it a lot easier I then pass in the details of the um, DNS zone for my C record, and I also would pass in the um, the um, details of what I want the C name record to say. I would do the same with the A record, so which zone is it, and what's the host name for my key vault. And then I've got some tags as well. So if I'm passed in some default tags that I'm using on my resources, I can pass them in. So you can see it's it's really easy to use this module. Um, in my module itself, so usually you would just define a subfolder and then you're pointing to the code in that folder. So here I've just defined the variables that my uh, module wants, so all the ones we saw in the, in the previous um, code snippet. And what we're doing is we're, we're really running this file here. So this is where I'm defining my resources. So I've got the, um, the private endpoint name. I've got the, um, this is the private endpoint resource. So you can see I'm creating it, I'm linking it to the subnet here. I'm setting up the service connections. This is the bit where the sub resource gets used. Um, I'm linking in my tags. So I've passed in my default tags and I'm just merging in some common tags that I would like to use, just indicating what, what this resource is used by. Then I, um, so we've got this data element. So this can be used to read the, um, the private endpoints of the the resource above will create it and then this will read it afterwards and this will let us get the um the ip address for that private endpoint so when i go to create my a record here i'm passing the the zone name i've got my you know the, the common things you would set up like your time to leave i've got an indication that it depends on the uh, the read of the private endpoint and then in the record here this is where i'm specifying the private ip address 
So it's going to route my traffic to my um, over my private endpoint to the key vault in this case. And finally, I do my C name down here. So I'm going to tell it, you know, this is the, the zone to use. This is the host name that I want you to put on that private link DNS zone and, and that'll route the traffic as well. So you can see, you know, the, there's a bit of code here that if I had to do all of this every single time I want to add a resource to a, a private endpoint to a resource in Azure, quite quickly my Terraform is going to get really big. But by using a module here, this means I can, you know, I can just have this code snippet next to a resource that I create and that'll just add the private endpoint for me. So that's going to make, you know, reduce my code base, save me loads of time, save me loads of bugs that I might get. And, um, and hopefully just make my life easier when I'm terraforming my Azure integration platform. Thanks very much for listening. Hope you enjoy the video and uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos soon. Thanks.